Okay. okay, just tell me your name, how old you are, and where you're from, like in the Middle East. My name is Zayn Azar, and I'm 27, and I'm from Lebanon. Okay, now, did you want to tell us about your kids? Well, being brought up in a household of four girls, and we never had any brothers, um, I have two boys, so that was completely a completely different experience for me. And... They've taught me so much, more than I can ever teach them, I think, uh, especially when it comes to animals. The other day, Mahdi wrote the word chameleon, and if you see the way he spelled it for a first-year-old to attempt to spell the word, it looked more like the real word chameleon than the word gnomes looks like the word gnomes with the G. So I thought that deserves a chameleon, so I spent three hours of my day trying to find one, and I ordered one for him. So No way! Yeah. What are you going to name the chameleon? <laughs> Uh, we'll see what he can what he can come up with. I'm sure he has interesting names for it. But we have to make sure we get like purple bed so we can turn purple and red and. And he like slithers down here. <laughs> no, we can't go to that part. No way. <laughs> I bet you're like watching a movie and he comes down here. Um, okay. Well, okay. You told you were telling me about the dog situation. Oh, well, I'm really scared of dogs, and it's not a religious thing. Everyone thinks that when a dog is walking by, oh my god, I'm like running away because I can't pray anymore. It's not that. I'm scared of dogs. I'm really scared. Like, I went to Starbucks the other day, and I packed my car, and I drove all the way there because I really want a, a latte, and I get out of the car, and I'm walking, and I'm on my phone, and I freeze because right by the door, there was a dog on a leash with its owner. I mean, it's on a leash, but a leash means like not like nothing to me. I mean, anything can happen. You know, that a leash doesn't assure me that I'm not going to be bitten. I go right back in my car and I go home and I couldn't get a latte. I was that scared. I won't go in. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I'm just scared of dogs. You know, it's not a religious thing. So. Has, has a dog ever chased you? Many times. When I was little, I lived on a block where every house had a huge dog. And every morning, it was normal for me to be chased. <laughs> They were like, oh, there's Zayn, I ran on time. My, it was so embarrassing. My mom would walk me to the bus stop and she had a broom in her hand. And you know, like, or like Arabic mouths with the scarf tied back and whatever. And she has a broom and we're walking. Those were like the worst days of my life. The <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm trying to think of. Um, did you hear my stomach? What the hell, man? Hungry? My mom was making food, so. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, okay, so what are some misconceptions people have about Arab or Muslims? Misconceptions. Well, there's, the main misconception is they think culture, Arab culture, is Islam. And the difference between those two is day and night. A lot of things we do culturally have nothing to do with our religion, but people think it's our, it's our religion. So I always try to explain that to other people, and it's hard for them to understand since we do things more culturally than Islamically. <laughs> that you're gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Debbie, keep going. <laughs> um, I have one more thing. Hold on. Are you stopping it as a 